What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, you can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 26.1 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any content we put out. Leave any comments you have for me in the comment section and share this video with anyone you think might like it. Um, powerful people. Uh, I want to uh, real quickly apologize for the lack of content last week. I'm not sure if you saw my uh, videos that went out um, on Friday, but um, I hurt my back real bad last week, and it was killing me to sit in the chair and record stuff, so I'm feeling a lot better now. Uh, hopefully nobody was too annoyed with the lack of content, but uh, we're back, and I hope everybody's excited. All right, first things first, powerful people. We're going to get things set up here. Go with the illegal den and the vending machines. All right. Of course, we're playing as Haru. We have cigarettes. We have flesh regrowth. And we are doing the Athelazd, uh old god. All right, our people, let's get going. Ooh, library notes. Nice. Um, that's interesting. Very interesting, actually. Let's take a look in here. Get our fund. We'll go for the bar brawl. Why not? Uh, take a bath. Get a little XP boost. Um, library notes, huh? That's pretty interesting. Oh, I should have. Dang it! Should have done that. And then take a bath. What do we got? Far out fable of the fear festival. Chilling Chronicle of the Crimson Cape. Bizarre Bruit of the Blood Curdling Botanist. Freaky Feature of Found Footage. And Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with the Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms, shall we? Alright. Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remain remained vacant. All right. Um, the door to her apartment was closed, and she lived alone. What other ways in are there? Maybe you can get the apartment plan to compare with other flats. Maybe. Actually, not a bad idea. <laughs> Um, let's go to the seaside, check out the hardware store. Carpenter hammer, shovel, crowbar. I like the crowbar. Let's go with the crowbar. Um... And I only have enough for the regular cigarettes. I'll sell the... I'll sell the library notes. Let's go... See if we can find more cigarettes. Perfect. Alright. Now. Abnormal anatomy. Let's go to the hospital. Casted? Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me go down these stairs? Help the man. Fuck. Failure. Uh, you struggle to help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks, and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore frothing with green bubbles. Good lord. The man smiles. His smile is way too wide for his face. Jesus Christ. Horrifying. Minus two stamina. Uh, the door to her apartment was closed. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. One more investigation of the hospital. They performed countless dissections to find the answer. Instead, they found it. Ah, yes, the anatomy horror. Very good. Oh, he's a ghost, though. Fuck me. Uh... Deals four. Hmm... Alright, he'll only do one damage to me. Um, to each, I guess. But now, 
We can do that. Boom. Defeated anatomy horror. Very good. Minus one reason. Great. Love that. Uh, downtown. Atsu Hakamura. It's getting dark, and you, as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Um, confront the stranger. Failure. The priest from the nearby temple asks you what asks what you were doing. When you can't make up a lie, you are thrown out. Minus one stamina. Cool. The apartment is on the third floor. There is no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. Fair. Probably a good call. Unfinished painting. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Nice success. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Plus five experience. Hell yeah. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. Fair. Fair. Mail day. Uh, when you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters. Failure. Always losing that one. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. Uh-oh. You should investigate the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed? Maybe? You ever think about that? Did you ever think about that, bud? A visitor. A uh, loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. I knew I would fail that, somehow. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock, the man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Well, oh, poop. Poop on that, am I right? Uh, your neighbor is complaining about her missing, her underwear missing. I feel you. I would too. Suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Oh, is this the gigolo? <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? The disgusting gigolo. Um, uh, um, he does two reason damage. Well, that's 10 right there. Um, yeah. I know. But now we can kill him. Boom. 14 experience. Hell yeah. Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Hmm. I'm gonna forget flesh regrowth. Get another point of reason back. <laughs> Struggling artist, what's up, dog? Uh, Mr. OOO, your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. What's that picture? You catch a glimpse of the painted thing Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. I've never gotten all the way to the end of this, so that's why I did that. Uh, shout out to Phil if you're thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but yeah, let's try to get the something truly evil. Because I've never seen how that goes. Uh, let's check the building plan to find out if there is a place where all the vents connect. Not a bad idea, man. A kind donation. Yeah, this is creepy as hell. Um, you find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. I like that it doesn't say on your pillow. Inside is a cash, is cash, and a note from someone who has been watching you. 
They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how does this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds, minus one reason. That's a good question. It's a damn good question. Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe cursing. You find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Check the vent. Uh, it's darker than shit in here. Ayo, you almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert, his elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. Continue. After the police have arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, the detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of the tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. Well, what the fuck were they going to do? Say I was the dead guy with the super long rubber arms? What the fuck? Anyway, 30 XP, 15 XP, still hope. One reason, one stamina, one day. Boom. We only got the 30, sadly. This game is still in early access. I keep forgetting that. Um, but anyway, we got the tiny key. That was a pretty good one. Um, we didn't level up, though, so I was I was really hoping we get to do that. Powerful people. Even though we didn't level up, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any content we put out. Uh, leave any comments you have for me in the comment section, and please share this video with anyone you think would like it. Until next time, powerful people, my name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, peace, and love.